In today's video, I'm just going to go over what supplements I take and then the five supplements I'd recommend. First things first, though, before I get into it, I just want to clarify that no supplement is essential. They are not supposed to substitute anything from your diet and they are there just to purely supplement your diet, hence the name supplement. These five supplements that I recommend aren't all directly related to body composition and gaining muscle. Some are kind of like indirectly related and more to do with health but they're all gonna benefit you in their own ways. So we'll start off with omega-3s, which is an essential fatty acid, which means our body can't produce them. We have to get them through our diet. So the benefits of having them, it's gonna reduce blood pressure, it's gonna help your cardiovascular health, it's gonna help your joint health, it's gonna help with brain function. It can also help your recovery as well because it's been proven to reduce inflammation. So after a session, you've got some DOMS, it's gonna help prevent that inflammation. So it is kind of indirectly helping with muscle growth and recovery, but the main purpose for me of having in omega 3s is just for health purposes that I just mentioned. Next one on the list is another health supplement, so it's a daily multivitamin. It's just to ensure that you get more vitamins in your diet. And one thing I can't stress enough is that it's not a replacement for like eating decent foods. Like, another thing you've got to make sure is that you're getting your minerals in, so for example, zinc, potassium, them kind of things. So make sure you're getting them in as well as your vitamins. But like I say, you can't just throw all your healthy diet out the window because you're using the multivit. But to weigh up whether a multivit is worth it or not, for me, it is just based on the cost I think for like 180 capsules so like for over half a year worth of supply of multivitamins it'll cost you around like between eight and nine pounds so what does that work out to probably like 5p a capsule so it literally to me it's a no-brainer like personally I've not noticed any like effects from taking them but for how much it costs it to me it is not much of a, a gamble in terms of expense the next supplement to talk about is weight fruit. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. The next supplement to talk about is whey protein, so f off. The next supplement we're talking about is whey protein. So this is another supplement I've taken since I started training. And there's an argument there to probably suggest it's not even a supplement. And I've spoken about this a lot of times. If you check out the video, that is linked in the description and what's going to appear in the end screen. If you check that out, you can find all about whey protein and which whey powder you should take. Next on the agenda is creatine. So it's the most widely researched supplement in the fitness industry. There's been multiple studies to show over time that improves strength gains, it increases lean body mass, it improves your power output, it helps recovery, and the best thing about it, it is ridiculously cheap. So one kilogram bag of creatine should cost you somewhere between eight and 10 pounds. That's 200 servings, which will last you over half a year and for eight to 10 pounds it's pretty cheap but just over a pound a month the fifth and final supplement i take is pre-workout and it's not something i take like too regularly it's just every so often when i need a boost so the main ingredient that makes pre-workout effective is caffeine so it's definitely not essential it can just be helpful when you need that boost so obviously there's alternative ways you can get caffeine into your body, for example, a cup of coffee, which I think a cup of coffee on average will have around 50 milligrams to 100 milligrams of caffeine in. Whereas pre-workout usually is between 150 milligrams of caffeine and 250 milligrams. Anyway, they're all the supplements I take. I don't need to take any of them. They're not essential at all. They're just the final piece of the puzzle, like I say. They're probably gonna contribute to maybe 2% of my gains. 98% of it to me is diet, training, sleep, recovery, that kind of thing that these supplements are very minute contributions towards my gains. So don't expect to see any drastic gains from any supplement you do consume unless you know you're gonna stick a needle in your ass because there's no like legal supplements that are healthy that are gonna just drastically blow up your gains. Obviously there's a load of other supplements out there which I've not covered mainly because this video would take forever because there's so many supplements out there. Anyway people, I'm about to wrap this video up. Before I do, I just wanna mention one thing that you've probably noticed and that's that I've not mentioned any kind of fat loss, fat burner supplement. The reason being, I don't take them. Second reason being, they don't work. So just to quickly summarize for people that don't know exactly the ins and outs of fat loss supplements, basically the main ingredient in them is caffeine. So you might see fitness influencers that take them pre-workout and the reason being just for the, the stimulant of caffeine to aid their training performance in the gym. It's not a supplement that is gonna melt away body fat. However, there has been research to say that caffeine does encourage us to move more. So if we're moving more, we're expending more energy, which can help to put us in a calorie deficit, which is gonna help us burn body fat. But it's not how it's marketed online, how it's just gonna like melt away five, 10 pounds of fat. So I just thought I'd pass that information on before anyone may potentially go out and buy a load of supplements they don't need. 
But on that note, I'm going to wrap the video up there. If you did find it useful, helpful, if you learned something, whatever, please drop this video a like. And obviously, if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. But yeah, that is a wrap. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.